You may know what it takes to move livestock around the 208. Not in here, but out there. A lot of space and a lot of people. And we're not just talking cows either. And maybe you've seen the sheep that often stop traffic on Idaho's highways. Notice them peppered in the Boise foothills. There are thousands of sheep grazing around the gem state, and that means hundreds of shepherds to guide them. A good chunk of them come from the South American country of Peru. And it's a rough job being a shepherd. Some walk more than 30 miles in one day with limited food and little to no access to medical care, all to care for these animals. So a Boise nursing instructor with ties to the herding community decided to step in in a pretty creative way. Katya Stepovic spent the day near McCall to hear their stories. When you look at it, you think, oh my gosh, this is so fun. You know, we're going to be camping all this time. We're going to be living off the land. But being a sheep herder takes more than being able to live off of the land. Betsy Kiros has been working with sheep herders for over 28 years. She says herders work 24 hours a day and half of that time is spent walking. They're fed, but because their bodies are working so hard, they say what they get often isn't enough. And there's not a lot of social interaction involved in this day job. There's that cultural isolation. When they come in, they go directly from the airport to work and um, they're not working in a ranch where like most people think, oh, they're working in the ranch and all they're doing is feeding. No, they have to push. So they're walking, uh, depending on which area they're in, um, they're walking for 12 hours long, no break in between. To add to that, she says the water sources where they get their water in McCall have recently been contaminated with fecal matter. So some of the herders have been going for days without access to clean water. There is no transportation. Um, they do have horses, but that is primarily to move the sheep and to make sure that we're corralling the sheep in certain areas and protecting them. Uh, and primarily is for moving the tent from campsite to campsite. Most sheep herder contracts last for three years, which takes a toll on their bodies. Over time, they often develop athlete's foot, leg cramps, and dehydration. But for some, the hardest is the limited access to keep in touch with family. Over time, many herders develop depression. With the depression that they suffer from the social isolation, is, it's been really hard on them, especially the young ones that have just arrived in April. Um, we have one that left home, a two-year-old, and it's his only daughter. And, um, so every time we come in, my heart just breaks because the sadness is very uh, prominent. It's, it's tearful. It's a tearful conversation and it's hard. It's hard to see that uh, and it's hard not to say, well, soon you'll be going home because that soon is usually three years. For some Peruvian sheep herders, this is just the start or the beginning of their journey. But for others, they've been here for a long time. Luis Palomino is on his third contract in Idaho and has been herding for nine years. We work practically 24 hours a day because we're with the animals day and night. While he loves what he does, Luis says keeping the animals away and dealing with the weather can be stressful. He adds the job just isn't for everyone. For a lot of people that, that, that don't enjoy animals in the outdoors, this is a difficult job. And it's a difficult job, but when you have enthusiasm and motivation, then you're able to achieve it and you're able to, to do it. So what keeps him going? My son is studying and I'm able to have the money to send to him so that he can get his education. And so that's my motivation is to be able to help him and my children have an education. Growing up, knowing the difficulties that sheep herders face, Kiros is now a nursing professor at Carrington College in Boise, and just last year created an entire program involving her nursing students that make monthly visits to provide herders with health services, home-cooked meals, while also teaching them how to cope with and avoid injuries, something Luis says he's pretty grateful for. He says I, it feels really good and it brings us a lot of joy and it's a good experience. And joy and health is everything that Betsy hopes to bring the herders. And also to know that they exist, to know that if you ever see them on the side of the road and you have maybe a Gatorade bottle or a water bottle, you know, if you can't share it, you know, if you feel comfortable stopping by, these guys are very, very grateful for any kindness that you would show them. All of these herders have at least two years left in their contract here in Idaho. And the program will continue to grow and follow them throughout the state as well. If you would like to donate any supplies, we have a link to how you can do that on KTVB.com. In McCall, Katia Stepovic, Idaho's News, Channel 7. And you know, it's not just basic care, because today those nursing students and Dr. Kiro spent the day vaccinating five of those sheep herders against COVID. 
thanks to a collaboration between those nursing students at Carrington College and St. Alphonsus. They did get the one dose Johnson and Johnson shot as they're on the move and they're trying to get them done in time for a second dose. Well, getting them down, I should say from the mountains in time for a second dose, that could be a bit tough.